Hey, 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 Cubs. What is going on my beautiful friends and family and welcome back to another video here on Team Acne. Today I'm going to talk to you about vitamins and minerals that help improve acne and that actually make acne worse. So this is going to be a jam-packed, info-filled bomb of a video. Definitely stick around because the last one is very, very interesting. So the first one I want to mention with you guys is vitamin A because I think a lot of us have heard about vitamin A before and a lot of us know that Accutane is actually a form of vitamin A. Now, does that translate into you taking vitamin A pills from the store or getting more vitamin A in your diet? Well, there's a couple studies and the first one that I read says this. We conducted a study which showed that retinol was indeed ineffective at the usual doses of 50 to 100,000 IU daily. Retinol was highly efficacious in doses of 300,000 units for women and 400 to 500,000 units for men. Toxicity was slight and limited mainly to skin and mucous membranes. So what they're saying right there is that uh, when you take a ton of vitamin A, i.e. when you're taking Accutane, it's been shown to be very useful for acne, but when you're getting a normal amount of uh, vitamin A, for like from say your diet and getting the right foods in, it doesn't show to be quite as useful. At least that's what this study says. Now on another note, a different study that I read was a study on vitamin A and vitamin E levels in the blood of people who do and don't have acne, and they wanted to see if there was a difference with people who did have acne. This is what they found. We found that plasma vitamin A concentrations in patients with acne were significantly lower than those of the control group. We also found that plasma vitamin E concentrations in patients with acne were significantly lower than those of the controls. Based on our results, we conclude that low vitamin A and E plasma levels have an important role in the pathogenesis of acne and an aggravation of this condition. So what that study is saying is that having low levels of vitamin A and vitamin E are not good for your acne. So if you are deficient in them, especially perhaps through diet, then you should address that. Find uh, you know foods that are high in vitamin A and E and make sure that you're getting them in your diet. Now, does that mean that you should go to the store and supplement vitamin A pills? That's not something that I could you know weigh in on. I don't know because the studies don't really seem clear to me, but I would definitely recommend getting foods in that have vitamin A. Now, since that last study talked about vitamin A and vitamin E, let's talk about vitamin E next. There seems to be a lot of studies and research that do show vitamin E is a very effective vitamin to use when you do have acne. But from what I'm reading, it seems like vitamin E is best used topically um, and it's much more effective that way rather than orally, like digested through food or supplementation. So one study found that topical vitamin E was effective in treating severe acne in adult participants within a three month period. However, vitamin E was also combined with zinc. Zinc and vitamin E were investigated in a, another study along with vitamin A and this particular investigation looked at corresponding serum levels in adults with severe acne and found that some study participants had nutritional deficiencies. While nutritional support helped in these cases, it's not clear if topical formulas of the same ingredients can treat acne. So there's a lot of studies about vitamin E. It looks like, unfortunately, a lot of the dietary studies were combinations of things. So vitamin E and zinc or vitamin E and A. And so that makes it hard for us to know exactly the impact that vitamin E has on our acne. But what, what I am seeing is that vitamin E is a great thing to have topically. So I definitely would recommend that um, when it comes to active acne. I know that vitamin E is also good for general skin health if you are you know, working on acne scarring. I personally use vitamin E in the uh, moisturizer that I use, which is vitamin C cream from Banish. It has vitamin C, which is great for redness and cell turnover and collagen stimulation, but it's also got tociferol, which is vitamin E. So we are getting both of those things in. Banish also puts that in some of their other products like the Banish Oil, so definitely check them out. Best company on the planet with the best skincare products out there. Brian5, and you can use the link below my video to get you a discount. Now I did find one other study that involved selenium and vitamin E, and this is what that said. In a study of 47 women and 42 men with acne vulgaris, it has been shown that after 12 weeks supplementation of vitamin E and selenium, the skin and condition had improved. So they're saying that supplementing both of those things can be good for you, so selenium is another one that you might want to look into as well. Now moving along. All right, now let's switch gears for a second and talk about a vitamin that isn't necessarily great for acne, because I feel like a lot of these we're talking about putting into your diet or getting you more of. This is one that can actually cause acne when you have too much of it. Now this is iodine. Now you might have heard of iodine before when you think of iodized salt, that's exactly what you're hearing. It's salt with iodine added to it. And iodine is 
important for us to get into our bodies. It helps with our thyroid functioning, which means like our metabolism and things like that. So iodine is not something that you do not want any of, but more importantly, I think this study is talking about getting too much iodine. So if you were someone who's eating a ton of fish, uh, like seafood and things like that, or like, you know, um, sushi where you're getting a lot of seaweed, then you might be getting too much iodine. The study says iodine is a nutrient that is essential for the proper organism functioning. Acne that occurs after ingestion of foods rich in iodine appears suddenly and is characterized by many papules. It has been hypothesized that the association between acne and milk may be a result of the iodine content of milk, which can vary with time of year location, supplementation of animal feed, and use of iodophor sanitizing solutions. So what I'm getting from that is you want to get your daily intake of iodine because it's healthy and good for you, but you do want to make sure that you aren't getting you know three four five six seven ten times your daily dose of iodine okay since we're talking about vitamins that can cause acne let's move to another one this is vitamin b12 now vitamin b12 is something that we all need and a lot of us get it from a lot of different sources in our food but some people will supplement with it especially vegans and vegetarians um, also it's fortified in a lot of our plant-based milks so a lot of people are getting it from that source now, a lot of people in the past have mentioned that when they supplement with B12, when they get either vitamin B12 uh, injections or they're taking a lot of vitamin B12 orally through liquids or pills, that they noticed that they started to break out. So I looked into this a little bit and I actually found something that was very interesting and this is what it says. A week after receiving the vitamin B12 injection, one of the 10 participants broke out in pimples. That person's P. acne gene expression pattern also changed. The researchers found before the B12 injection, it was similar to those of other healthy participants, but 14 days after the vitamin B12 shot, it looked much more like an acne patient's pattern. Together, the new findings suggest that when too much B12 is present, the bacteria have changes in their gene expression that suppresses further synthesis of the vitamin. These bacteria switch producing porphyrins, and in some people, this uptick in inflammatory compounds may contribute to acne. Again, so a similar thing to iodine, where it's a vitamin that you do need, and you do need your daily intake of it. Every single person does to be healthy, but when you get too much of it, it can actually cause an issue. And I thought it was really interesting, the mechanism of how it works, basically when you have too much B12 and if your body responds this way your body will actually create more of an inflammatory compound and that inflammatory compound will cause acne so if you are someone who breaks up from B12 then be mindful of how much you're taking because a lot of times people are taking way more than they actually need but if you're somebody that doesn't see any adverse reaction from B12 then you probably don't need to worry about it at all for example I never have to worry about how much B12 I'm taking. If I dose it every single day, like I took supplements every single day, which I have before, it doesn't cause me any more or less acne. Okay, now let's round it up with our last two vitamins. Now, vitamin C is something that is really, really good for your skin health. The Indian Dermatology Online Journal, they say this, vitamin C is a potent antioxidant drug that can be used topically in dermatology to treat and prevent changes associated with photo aging. It can also be used for treatment of hyperpigmentation. So basically what that means is that it's good for keeping your skin from aging. So that means wrinkles and texture differences, also elastic elasticity elasticity and also it's great for redness and discoloration of your face so that's not necessarily to do with active acne except for the redness part um, but it is something that I did want to mention because I think that is very important for a lot of us who deal with redness discoloration spots or in general uh, have inflammation from active acne so again you can use uh, vitamin C moisturizers or you know really any um, any product that has vitamin C in it great stuff so vitamin c and vitamin e in your moisturizer fantastic and that's exactly what the vitamin c cream from banish is so definitely recommend that one and so that brings us to the very last vitamins of this video now vitamin b5 you might have heard of this before and also vitamin b3 which is called niacinamide vitamin b5 has gotten a lot of press lately because a video went viral where a mom started supplementing her son with vitamin b5 and his his acne improved so she made a video about it and a lot of people are doing it now there's not a lot of information about it online so there's not a lot of studies that have been performed one one site claims this exact thing. It says vitamin B5 is as effective as the drug Accutane in treating acne because it also works at the first stage of acne formation. Whereas acne, Accutane shrinks sebaceous glands, vitamin B5 reduces oil production of the sebaceous glands by increasing coenzyme A, which increases the metabolic breakdown of oils, including sebum, by optimizing the normal activity of cell physiology. Now, 
there's no citation of scientific studies there and if something's not backed by science I definitely don't recommend it now experiences are important and when people say that they have done something an anecdotal experience it's important to me and so when someone says like I've taken vitamin b5 and it helped improve my acne that's something that makes me interested in it but it's not something that makes me recommend it to other people I can't verify that it actually is working for the reasons that they think it's working. So vitamin B5 is something that I think you should keep an eye on. Google about it every couple of months and see if there's any new studies that have come out. But at the moment, I think it's too risky. Now, in the comment sections of vitamin B5 acne videos, you'll see a lot of people say it improved their acne. You'll see a lot of people say it made their acne worse. And you'll see a lot of people say that it started making their acne better, but then they start seeing side effects like losing hair. So that's definitely not something that I would recommend people do, uh, especially without the supervision of a doctor or doing blood tests. But it's something I wanted to bring up so that you can be aware that it is something that we are all looking at and just waiting for more studies. Now niacinamide, vitamin B3, is something that there are a lot of studies on and it shows an improvement in inflammation. This is why niacinamide is used in a lot of skincare products and there are studies to prove that. But I don't know if there are studies that show oral intake of vitamin B3 actually improves acne. That's something that, again, we need more studies on, but it's something that I thought I would bring up. And with that, my friends, it brings us to the end of this very interesting informational video. I thought this was a little different than most acne videos, so I wanted to do this one for you guys. Hope it was entertaining and informational. Something that I do recommend is to use a site called chronometer.com, C-R-O-N-O-M-E-T-E-R.com. Log all the food that you eat for a day, and at the end of the day, it'll show you all your calories, protein, carbs, and fats, but it'll also break down the vitamins and minerals that you got in your diet that day. So a lot of times if we eat similar every single day, you'll find out that you're actually deficient in quite a few vitamins and you can address that with your diet. So that is definitely something I think is very interesting and something that I definitely think we should all do. Now, if you've had an experience with any vitamins or minerals that have helped improve or increase your acne, I'd love for you to leave it in the comments below so it can help all of us so we can read your experience with it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful and you're part of Team Acne. I'll see you guys in the next video.